Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome back to my channel. So in advance, I apologize for the bad quality. I am currently at my parents' house for Thanksgiving and I just basically forgot my entire setup. I forgot my lights, my like camera camera and everything. So this is a phone filmed video. It's a double upload week because I forgot to upload or I didn't forget, I was just busy last week and I didn't get to upload. So there will be a video today, Friday, hopefully and a video Sunday, which will be the regular weekly vlogs. This week's vlog will include two weeks worth of footage. Um, hopefully it won't be too long. If it does, I'll just cut out some boring stuff. But anyways, preface aside, let's get into the actual video. So this video was suggested by one of you guys who said they would like to know what are some of the things I wish I knew before I started attending GW. So here we go. So as you know, I am a current student of GW, George Washington University. I have a list of a few things that I personally would have wished that I knew before I started coming to GW. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are straight down the middle. So the first thing I really wish I knew before coming to GW is knowing how expensive the city of DC actually is. This is like across the board, it goes for housing, food options, just transport in general, pretty much anything you can think of, it's expensive here. Especially since we don't have a dining hall, we don't have like an official meal plan and our meal plan is basically us using our G World to like buy stuff at restaurants. Like restaurants are expensive. I know I've said this in like previous videos, but we get about $20 per day. And the typical meal at any of the restaurants around Foggy Bottom or pretty much anywhere in DC are about $10 each. Meaning that depending on what you eat or depending on what you eat on the day, you can only have about a meal and a half a day. Maybe two meals if you're stretching it, if you want to stay on budget. Now, this is doable. I've been doing it, everyone's been doing it. Other people have been doing it better than others. And budgeting is definitely something that you need to learn if you're going to be a college student. So I could have really like thought about how I'd manage that and like if I wanted to like cook or something. Um, that's also another thing. I wish I would have known how to cook or like would have known to bring like cooking supplies because cooking is a lot of work, especially on a college campus when you have 101 things to do, but it is also like the most effective way of saving money. So you're spending like a hundred or so dollars like every two weeks on stuff that would last you for like a full two weeks as opposed to spending, I don't know, like a hundred dollars every like five days or something because you're trying to eat. So yeah, I wish I would have known like the severity not the severity it's what's making it deeper than it has to be really how much things cost in relation to how much money you get per semester because for our year we get 2300 per semester which may sound like a lot and it is a lot compared to the previous years and what the upperclassmen get i'm doing fine economically because i've been like spacing things out which has been working out because if you're going to be eating on campus all the time you're going to be using your duo all the time so i just try and like eat off campus maybe once or twice or like get free food around campus because there are a lot of opportunities for that also so another thing, if you want to go partying or clubbing, you have to know that that's expensive too, especially, especially if you're a guy. Um, a lot of the times girls get in for cheaper or for free, just by like showing up. But guys, you have a cover fee that can span anywhere depending on what event and what day you're going to from like $12 to all the way to like $35. So like if you're crazy and want to go clubbing every weekend at GW, I strongly recommend you reconsider because otherwise you're going to be broke and that's not coming off your gear rope, it's coming straight off your actual money. The second thing that I wish I would have known before attending GW is that the burn actually isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Yes, it is still bad. A lot of people like the burn, but it's not as awful as people may um, put it out to be, like, especially like the websites like Unigo or like Niche, where students give reviews of the schools. It's honestly not that deep, it's not that bad. Actually, it's kind of nice. The only drawback I could really see is like the transportation time and the dining hall that's there because I hear that the dining hall isn't great. I haven't personally been, so I can't really speak from personal experience, but I hear that it's pretty bad. But if it's really that much of a problem, you can always go to Foggy and get like all of our dining options. It's honestly not that bad. So especially if you're gonna be a freshman next year and you're considering options and you think like, oh, the bird is the worst thing ever. If I get on the bird, I'm transferring. Like, no, don't do that. It's not that deep. It's actually pretty nice. Especially if you want like a break from like the city, because I know a lot, a lot of people who like get overwhelmed by the city and just want to live on the burn as like a more like laid back thing, definitely consider that as an option. Third thing that I wish I knew about before attending GW kind of like goes both ways. It's AP credits and how like effective and like non-effective they are, you know? Um, so GW does not take a lot of AP credits. They take a lot of like running start credits though. Um, I know my roommate, for example, did like a whole bunch of college courses in high school and got a bunch of credits. So now he's technically 
a sophomore because of like the amount of credits that he has, which benefits him in like class registration until he gets to register with like the higher grade because freshmen get like the last batch of classes. So yeah, he gets early registration. Um, he gets to graduate early if he chooses. So I think it might be a little bit too late for the high school seniors out there, but especially if you're a high school sophomore or a junior, consider taking extra classes at like a community college or like an actual college to get those credits to transfer over because AP credits aren't all of that. I hear a lot of people don't get a lot of credit. The fourth thing I wish I knew was that GW doesn't really have a nightlife or like, I don't know, a weekend life during the day because everyone's kind of doing their own thing. There's not like a big, big, big um, nightlife presence. And I think that's attributed to the fact that we are in a city and like a real city where people like live their lives. Um, so you can't really be like out and about like that in the middle of the street because it's a city. That also kind of speaks to why like weekends are kind of dead on campus because Foggy Bottom is like where real people, real people, where like, I don't know, adults go to work. So on Saturdays and Sundays, they're not working. So there's pretty much only students on campus. And a lot of students have work to do over the weekends. So usually they're either in Yelman or their room or like in district or something. So if you're like walking around the streets, you're not gonna see that many people. And the last thing that I wish I would have known and I'm glad that I know now, I am just trying to pass this message on to you. By going to GW and being in DC, you have access to the entire DMV. I'm gonna let that sink in. And if that doesn't sink in for you, let me explain why. We have one metro stop on campus and then like another one that's like a five minute walk from like campus, it's like near my hall. And by taking that metro stop, you, you, can go to like three different campuses. I think, I don't really remember the stops because I only go to like the mall from the metro, which is in Virginia. You can go to Virginia and be back in a day. You can go like multiple places in Virginia actually and be back within a day. So that's just so cool to me. In Seattle, the only thing we have is like the light rail and that doesn't even really go anywhere. But yeah, you can literally go almost anywhere in the DMV and we're like close to it all. Like literally close to it all. Like hashtag only at GW can you do that. Maybe at American, but like who really cares about American, right? Oh, one thing I wish I would have known. I just remembered this. One thing I really wish I would have known before I came here was you do not, and I repeat, you do not need to buy all of the textbooks that are assigned because that is a lot of money that you're just wasting. Because I literally have like three textbooks that I have never used for a course and the semester is almost over. Wait until the end of syllabus week, especially if you are a first year, wait until the end of syllabus week to actually buy your textbooks because professors are like super lenient when it comes to that. Ask some of our classmen who've taken that class if they ever needed like the reading material, and if they do, just check.com. But yeah, I think those are all the things that I wish I would have known before I came here. If I do remember anything else, I'll like probably put it in the description or something, so look out for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, then definitely hit that subscribe button to join our wonderful family. We are almost at 4K. I think I'm gonna do a subscriber Q&A for 4K, so, I guess like start dropping questions now. We're likely gonna hit it before like the end of the year. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and comment down below anything you think I missed or like clarification on, or if like you just wanna say hi and start a conversation, I love talking to you guys. So drop some comments down below. <laughs> also make sure to hit that little bell icon to turn on my post notifications so you never miss an upload and follow me on Twitter at Emergency with two eyes. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I've been Emergency and I'll see you guys next time.